thousands of vacant homes around Baltimore. They're not just eyesores in the neighborhood. They can also be a danger and be hubs for crime. Yeah, well, today, two Baltimore City Councilors will introduce another tool that could help bring that number down even further. WMAR 2 News' Nordea Lewis is live at City Hall with the details on these plans. Good morning, Nordea. Good morning. This has been in the making for two years. Today, two city council members will introduce the Baltimore City Land Bank. It's an initiative to help efficiently address the vacant properties in Baltimore City. This morning at 11, Councilwoman Ramos will introduce the legislation to expedite the process of eliminating vacant homes by using Baltimore's Land Bank Authority. It's another tool to expedite the acquisition and disposition of vacant and abandoned abandoned properties. People say it's been a long time coming as the city has tried to address the vacant home problem for years. The city's effort included an artificial intelligence program looking at images of the city to find properties with roof damage. The AI detection tool has resulted in 23 emergency demolitions in the last two months. Additionally, back in October, city officials joined in with firefighters each Wednesday to post red markers on vacant properties that that were deemed unsafe. People hope all of these initiatives, along with Ramos's new tool, will solve the vacant problem here in the city. We can't go uh, five to six houses in any direction without it being a, a vacant property. According to the latest numbers from the city, they've reduced the number of vacant properties by 752. They say the city has its lowest number of vacant properties we've seen in years, but there's still a lot of work to be done. If you want to read more up on this new proposal, head to our website, WMAR2news.com. Live at City Hall, for WMAR2news, I'm Norday Lewis.